Well, as you can see, my YouTube friends, I'm bathed in sunshine. And these next few days, we're going through very bad weather. Very bright during the day, but minus uh, C during the evening. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll get this video out of the way because I wanted to tell you my good news. And, um, and then show you a bloom that's just opened. So, um, the good news is that I'm not having chemotherapy. And what I'm having is targeted therapy. And the type of cancer I've got is treatable with great success. And if I show you that, um, there. Don't know if you're able to see that. So basically, I've got a G E G F R gene. That's the gene that the targeting. So the molecular level, um, the osimeter, can you see? Um, it attaches to the spike protein of the cancer, and then blocking its if you like, its way, um, and then that will die. So, um, keeping my fingers crossed, I take one tablet a day, which is probably the size of only a, a paracetamol, and um, there were terrible side effects. And fortunately, um, I'm not having any of those side effects. So, um, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled. So I'm four days in with no side effects. Well, so far. So uh, let's keep our fingers crossed. Right, so I'm going to show you Bloom now. And um, and I've got the catacetum still not opened, um, but it's still developing its bud. So let's just see if I can lift the camera up. Right, so here we go. This is just opening up today. Look at the inside. Look at the size of the flower. And this is of course Selogeny speciosa. Look. I mean, oh dear. I don't want to drop that. Something just dropped. Um, and I've got this, this other one developed in there. So, so I've rebloomed this. And turn me around. I'm getting blinded with the sun. There we go. Look at that inside. So I've got this on this top shelf. And I've got a full spectrum light here. Can you see the wand? How it goes. And it's here as well. And I've got the other big light there. But I've not got that switched on at the moment. And this is the uh, the cat layer. And here we go. Perseveriana winter. It's got some lovely roots. And I've put this. directly in line with that full spectrum light and there's that little Tolumnia Scandens. This'll get a little bit of water because it hasn't got a lot of moss but that's doing very well and <coughs> excuse me 
these are the these are some of the kettle layers. Now, when I put this full spectrum light on, these are also bathed in the full spectrum light. And can you see how the sun's still coming through, penetrating? A short while ago, it was up here, bathing all these in sunshine. So some of these should really be watered, but I, I'm deliberately not going to water anything today, like I say, because of the cold night tonight. So we'll go over here. This is Cattleya walkeriana for Cerulea. Again, bathed in sunshine. These are some of the patio pedlums. And this little one here, this is the uh, Maxillaria, oh no, Moniara Millennium. Can you see in there? We've got two more little green roots developing. So, and these are the ones here, doing very well. This one, this Kingainum here on the wall, that's uh, developing a new growth, as is this little one here, let me see, just tucked there. Ah, and that one's of course very old. So, ah, goodness it's warm here. It, it really is. And look, these are the three big buds on the uh, Catacetum Pileatum Yellow Giant. Look at them. This is one of the other little Tulumias. This is Tulumia Peach. And this one I mounted. I've got this piece here. And I've got that piece over there. And these both appear to be doing fine. And I don't think these would come to any harm um, by not watering them. And of course, these are the big ones. Look at the roots. And the same with this one. This is pastoral innocence. And that's the... I don't know whether you'll see that. It's probably the light. Can you see? Just about see the light there. The, uh, the new growth coming. And the Caesis Lemingii. And this is Lely Ramseps. I don't know what this is. Got lovely roots. And a new centre leaf coming there and where are frags. And there's the, the scaphoglottis. Sorry, sorry about the noise. You, you'll have that fan noise. But look, this is where I decided to hang the maxillaria and I did have it under the full spectrum line but the sun's come down a little bit now so it's not bathed in sunshine but it was and I read up that they also need good air movement so these three and here because these are the uh, Oh yes, doing very well. I have to pin this little one down. Because of course the girl wanted to go out to the sunlight. And here we go. These are the vandas. That one took there. So, the, I mean we had some terrible trouble this year with the with the heat wave and we've had we've got some bad leaves. But I am pleased to say that the new leaves that are formed are all lovely. And look at this. Um, look, look at the new roots there. And this is the Jarak 
Oh, Pro Catavolia, Jarrah Green Star, this flowered last year. And I do believe down there, you won't see it, there's a flower bud forming. And there's one of the other vanders. And, uh, <coughs> oh, there we are, another hoya. So all these have been watered this week. Even those down there, some of the frags down there. And all these cattleyas under here. I've been watered. I might do a, a separate video on some of them. There we go. And like I say, the frags this year took a, uh, took a real hammering. And it was that hot weather. I mean, I didn't feel well during the hot weather. And, and these certainly didn't. But look, I've got... I mean, some of the leaves are terrible. But I've, I've got the centre now coming emerging through and they're looking good and of course this, look at this new growth this is on the i've no idea what this is it uh, came as an oid and it's in it's in lecker and it's actually doing quite well now just one moment so i'm in our bedroom now and um I brought these cool growers up from the hallway because I felt it was getting terribly cold. I mean, the daytime temperatures are only reaching 12. But look, can you see? There. And this is the new growth. This one. Sorry about the sun. That's the new growth. It's grown right from down there all the way up. And which, which one's this one? I think this one might be... Oh, Delicatum. Delicatum. So, uh, that's that one. This one is a Restrepia. And there was that new leaf it formed. I don't know which is the best way to show you. That was the new leaf it formed. And I noticed yesterday... Oh, got another one. There. So, there's a little something in that one as well. And if I turn it round, now that one's dried up, you see. Anyway, and this is one of the Kingianums. And that bulb's starting to shrivel just a little bit, but where, there's that new growth. Can you see the new growth? But you see how nice this is south facing. So they're bathed in sunshine, which they need. Again, this is the Dendrobium fissiflorum. And they, these will stay in the bedroom now. I might only occasionally water them if... Um, if they get too shriveled. And now this one, I'm not, I thought this was the same as Delicatum, but this one might be a, a Chrysotoxum. And so we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, I've got another. Can you see that one there? Growing there. Right, so we're in the hallway and we've got 21.8, 62% humidity. Okay. And we've got a couple of dendrobiums here. And we've got the uh, cymbidium. And although it didn't do well, it seems to be picking up now. They're all little pieces, but these bulbs have gone really fat. And I'm thrilled. And the new growths that have come through are coming through clean. And as you can see, likewise, this is in full sun. And there's another one. That's another one with uh, a nobly type. You see? And if we go down here, bear with me a minute. We'll just see if I can lift them out. Can you 
you see? This is one of the terrariums. Yeah, it's produced a little cake, you know, one else. Can you see? Look at the new leaves. There we go. Excuse me. I don't leave the lid on there. Let's see if I can get this one out. There we go. This is a Bulbophyllum. And it dropped this one leaf, this big leaf, but it hasn't dropped any more. And you see, and in fact, it's given me this new leaf here. So uh, I'm just hoping that um, I can get it through the winter months. Now, here we go, we're outside. Keith will go mad. But it, it's not too bad here at the front. Because we face south. And look at them. So we've got lovely flowers and it's December. Look. And we've got lots of alliums and different bulbs coming through. Look, we've still got a little sunflower. I tell you what, we've had a hell of a job. The damn squirrels dig up, they dig up all their keys put bulbs in because apparently they do love tulips. There we go, and you see, and he's tucked little tulips. See, look, look, somebody's been in here and thrown that, so I'll put that down there. But look. And these are some of the spring flowers that have come through. Look at these. Absolutely gorgeous. So, there we go. Half of it still bathed in sunshine. And we've, I've just noticed that it's really out of sync, the garden, because we've got the contorted hazel there and it's not dropped its leaves yet. But look, where do you see? It's got catkins. Look at that. Can you actually believe that? It's got its catkins already. So. Right, I'm going to take my leave of you and uh, oh, it's lovely here in the sunshine. I'm going to go in and have some lunch. And there. Uh, and you see the yuccas. And around the other side we have uh, two more spikes developing. I don't know that I can get in there but look. This is the, um, oh, where is it? See that spike there? And that other spike there? That's the dendrobium, sorry. <sighs> Foxglove. That's native to Madeira. Absolutely lovely. So I'm going to nip inside now where it's nice and warm and thank you for joining me and we'll be back soon bye bye now